Namaste everybody. Sairam, this is a short story of Lord Hanuman and the pearl necklace from Mother Sita. The scene here is coronation ceremony of Lord Rama. He has won the battle against the mighty king Ravana and today is the uh, ceremony day. Lord Rama is seated on the throne with Mother Sita by his side and uh, Bharata, Lakshmana, Satrugna, they are standing behind them and our Hanuman is sitting by Lord Rama's feet and the assembly is full of great people, great sages, gurus, lot of saints, Every they are all seated in the assembly, sage Vasishta is sitting there. Lord Rama now gets up. He is distributing gifts to everyone that helped him win the war. He gives gold to some. He is giving silver to some. He gives expensive clothes to some. He gives money. At this time, Sita pulls him aside and she says, Swami, why are you ignoring Hanuman? He helped you the most in this war. Without him, you could not have won this war. Why are you ignoring him? I'm not ignoring Sita. For, for one thing, Hanuman is a brahmachari. Secondly, he is beyond all these material benefits. He doesn't need these material benefits. Not happy with this answer she received from Lord Rama, she takes out a beautiful pearl necklace from her neck. She was wearing lots and lots of jewelry on this day. She takes out the necklace and places it on Hanuman's hand. Hanuman receives it with a lot of respect, but does something very strange, very weird. He takes each pearl and places it against his ear as if he wants to listen to some sound from the pearl and then he bites on the pearl he chews on it and he throws them all on the ground everybody whole assembly is shocked mother sita is shocked she says hanuman what are you doing i gave you my expensive very precious pearl necklace my father gave it to me i give it to you as gratitude and you are throwing them on the ground. I don't understand. In her mind, she is thinking, Hanuman is after all a monkey. What else can I expect from him? Hanuman says, Mother Sita, I know these are very precious pearls and it's more precious because I'm receiving it from your holy hand. But anything that does not say Rama's name, it's worthless to me. These pearls are not saying Rama's name to me. So I am chewing them and I am throwing them on the ground. Anything that does not say or has Rama in it, it's worthless to me. It's of no value to me. Then one of the members in the assembly, they shout at Hanuman. They say, Hanuman, are you mad? You got such a precious gift and you are throwing them on the ground. You say you will not wear anything that doesn't have Rama in it. You are wearing your body. Does your body have Lord Rama in it? Yes, sir. There is Lord Rama in me. Do you want me to prove it to you? I will prove it right now. And he takes both his hands with sharp nails, with those long sharp nails. He digs deep into his chest and thrusts it open. Blood is oozing out. Everybody is shocked. But lo and behold, they saw an incredible sight. They saw Lord Rama and Mother Sita lodged in his chest. Everybody is shouting cries of joy. Sri Ramachandra Prabhuji ki jai. 
श्री राम भक्त हनुमान जी की जय लॉर्ड रामा कम्स डाउन द स्टेप्स हक्स हनुमान एम्ब्रेस हेम ब्लस हेम एंड ही सेस हनुमान वॉट कैन आई गिव यू देर इज नथिंग I can give you to match your devotion so I am going to give myself to you and he hugs hanuman again and this is such a beautiful story depicting devotion if we have devotion we can see god anywhere any place any time and are we going to see the god in the way we picture him with three heads or uh, four hands or eight hands are we going to see him like that no not at all in time of dire need if somebody comes to help you that person is god that in that form god is going to come to us i am sure we all have witnessed it in our life at some time or the other when we were in need god had sent somebody in human form thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this story sairam